Once you've got through the first week of surgery, problems like leakage and bleeding don't happen. Uh, these are really only early complications. But later on, there are some things that can go wrong that you need to know about. Uh, about six or eight weeks after surgery, you'll be moving off liquidized and sloppy food onto more normal solid food. And at this stage, if you have excessive scar tissue forming around the join up between the stomach pouch and the small bowel, the whole join up can become excessively narrowed. This is called a stenosis. And what it would mean is that you would be unable to progress on to normal solids without being sick. Now the good news is stenosis is a really easy problem for us to sort out. It does involve coming back into hospital for the day where we pop a camera down under sedation and we can put a small balloon into the narrowed area and give it a stretch. And for most people, a single stretch will do the trick and the problem is sorted. In the longer term, we have to be very careful after the gastric bypass to make sure that you take a good quality multivitamin on a regular basis. And this is because the gastric bypass does have some effect on impairing the absorption of things like iron and calcium, and especially of a vitamin called B12. Vitamin B12 isn't absorbed terribly well by tablet form, so we sometimes have to give this in about a quarter of patients as an injection, about three or four times a year. And this is something that your GP can arrange for you. Apart from that, there are relatively few long-term side effects of gastric bypass. As long as you stick to a sensible diet and follow the advice that our team give you, it's exceptionally unusual for severe nutritional problems to occur. We do have to be careful about one or two late problems, such as partial blockage to the bowel, which can be due to either adhesions or due to little hernias forming within the tummy cavity after you've lost a lot of your weight. But this is something we know to look out for and it's relatively easy to correct.